everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose at home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today, you have watched Graham, one of our conservation researchers here at the Calgary Zoo, releasing burrowing owls that are part of the head starting program back into the wild. Where do you release them? Into a burrow. Today, we're gonna explore animals that burrow and a little bit about the different kinds of burrows. First off, when we say a burrow, what are we talking about? We are talking about an underground home. Burrows can be in all kinds of substrates. They can be in rock or in dirt or in sand or in mulch. They can be big, they can take up kilometers of networks under the ground, or they can be as simple as a small hole. And there are all kinds of animals that live in the burrows, both living today and in the past. Burrows also fossilize. So we know that there have been animals for the past, for many, many millions of years on our planet living in burrows. Why does an animal choose to live in a burrow? Well, there are lots of different reasons. One of the biggest ones is it helps you manage the temperature of your environment. If you live somewhere where it's really, really hot, a burrow provides shade. If you live somewhere that's really cold, a burrow provides shelter from the elements. And if you live somewhere like Canada, where you get both of those things, depending on the time of year, a burrow is the perfect home for you. A burrow can also be somewhere that you can store your food. Many small mammals like to hoard their snacks. I understand that. And they like to pile all of their food for winter inside a burrow. Burrows are also a great place to raise your young or to hide from predators. But if you want to burrow, how do you get one? You've got a few different options. First, you can dig your own. So I'm standing here at the prairie dog habitat and they are what we call a primary excavator. That means they dig their own burrows. They use their little paws and they dig in and they create these amazing underground networks with tunnels and dens and all of these wonderful spaces. They usually have different entrances and exits and a prairie dog town can take up kilometers, which is incredible. Some animals, they don't dig their own burrow, but they make changes. So they'll take over the burrow of another animal. They'll modify it for their own use. And then some animals, like the burrowing owls we're talking about today, they don't want to dig their own. They're just going to use somebody else's abandoned one. So a burrowing owl, despite their name, does not dig their own burrow. They will use burrows created by animals like prairie dogs or badgers or other small underground living mammals. Often they'll take over an empty one, but sometimes even parts of those prairie dog towns can be kind of ignored by the animals that are living there. And so the burrowing owl has a perfect place to go. Isn't that cool? So you found your burrow. Now, what do you want to do with it? Well, you might want to raise your young. So burrowing owls hatch their eggs in those underground burrows. They want to attract food. So they do this really crazy thing where they actually smear the walls with cow manure. Isn't that weird? Why would they do that? Well, it attracts flies, which the burrowing owls eat. So super clever in terms of making their habitat their own. Now, the burrowing owls that are released as part of the head starting program, they don't go back into natural burrows. We want to actually be able to monitor and check in and see what's happening. So the teams and partners that we work with as part of this program have created and built man-made burrows. They're made of substances like weeping tile or tubes. So we can plunk them down in their burrow. They have an entrance and an exit. And then we can also check in on them. There are little windows where we can see what is happening. So after those animals leave our care, we can monitor them and find out what happened. We release burrowing owls onto two sites in Alberta, including with our partners at CFB Suffield. And we're able to monitor using the satellite transmitters what happens to them. We're really pleased to see those head started burrowing owls, which get released in male female pairs, start to nest, lay eggs and hatch chicks together. And then hopefully if all goes well, they will migrate south for the winter and hopefully return in the spring. Thank you so much for watching today's Daily Dose uh, at home about burrows. For your at home activity, we've got a fun, so you want to live in a burrow trivia game for you. Enjoy that and thank you for listening and learning a little bit more about one of the incredible conservation programs here at the Calgary Zoo. 
Your support makes these programs possible, and we could not be working to protect endangered species here in Canada and around the world without you. So thank you for supporting wildlife conservation, and we'll catch you on the next Daily Dose at Home.